I don't know why these are still in here. Never know when you need to get in the tree. What? Never know when you need to get in the tree. Yeah, I definitely need to take them out though. If they're just chilling in here. So today it's a uh, it's a beautiful Michigan June day, and uh, we decided um, still getting a lot of questions and like it's just. It's just a popular topic right now. Like a lot of people are exploring the option of saddle hunting. So um, something that we, uh, you know, watching everyone's videos and stuff and talking about, you don't really hear about this a lot when dealing with it. So we're gonna talk about that today. But uh, first we have to get everything set up. So we're just gonna get in the tree right in the yard here and uh, shoot some arrows out of it pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I was just watching um, one of Greg's videos from Tethered. He was talking about how he uses this crazy big aider thing. It's like, it's like a five foot aider and you put it on the bottom and then you have like three steps in it and then you pull it off. He essentially modified them. They sell one now. They just platform, tool belt, one versus strap. Who versus strap? Three versus strap. I know we have more somewhere. I might just have to use a hawk one. So these aren't bad. They're just loud. We gotta get a rope from in there. Yeah, if you could grab, just grab that saddle. Right above all those leaves right there. Right in that pocket. If you go up right here, it's gonna kinda suck because it's leaning, but I'll just put one up and then I gotta get my saddle and stuff. <clears throat> this isn't an instructional video on how to set this up. So I'm just gonna do it. But that's definitely a great idea for a video. If you guys wanna see how we do this. Branded ones. It's kinda cool. All right, so um, if you guys aren't familiar with saddle hunting, it's a new thing or it's an old thing that's new again, kinda. So this is called the actual saddle. You clip it in. Then you have these straps that go down and around yep, to these orange tabs. Yeah, so this is their new Phantom, they call it, by Tether. They had um, their older model one, which was also very awesome, but it was like came in multiple sizes and like isn't as good as this one, I guess you could say. Still awesome. Yeah, adjustable bridge, which this is called a bridge. It's so cool you hang from. Okay. Enough talking, more doing. I might even have to like twist, like do a spiral staircase with the sticks. But I always just like tie my rope. See, all of these branches is the problem. So those three sticks got me probably 18 feet. That one's 20 feet that Bryce is gonna be in. So I normally would get higher, but most states 18 would be good too. Michigan need to be like 40. <laughs> this was for the archery 100 yard shot burst. Rifle 1000 yard shot video. If you haven't watched that yet, make sure to check that out. We'll do four, we'll do the four quadrants. Right here. That's like, which way are you gonna go around the tree? Guess we just gotta figure that out. There's a buck here and we gotta kill it. That's all we know. Boom. That one's gonna be hard. Not impossible though. One, two, one. Okay, sweet. All right, everyone, we are up in the tree now. Um, have my saddle on. Like I said, I'm right about like 18 feet. My face is level with Bryce that's in a 20 foot ladder stand right now. So my feet are probably, you know, 17 or 16 feet, something like that. But I'm up right in the 20, 20 foot range, which is like pretty common. Um, I like to get personally higher especially with two people 
and a saddle system like this, camera guy on the other side, me on this side, you know, 25 plus feet, four, four or five sticks, essentially. So what I wanna talk about today um, is proper shooting form out of a saddle. There's so many videos out there talking about like just, you know, like saddles and like getting up and down and, and how to like just shoot out of them, but not a lot um, like proper shooting form because it is a little bit different shooting out of a saddle. Um, you can definitely get your body in a twist when you're trying to shoot certain ways um, that could like cause a bad shot. So what, we, what we've done is we essentially like split this tree into four quadrants and I have a target at like 15, 20 yards in each quadrant. And I'm just gonna kinda go over how you should be like shooting each of these targets um, and maybe even like knock down some myths that people have like from shooting from tree stands or elevated positions or whatever. So I got about 10 arrows, so we'll just like literally run through. I kinda wanna keep this like uncut. This is very like not instructional and like again, a lot of this is like true right information, but it is my opinion. If you don't agree with me, sweet. So we have, and <laughs> hopefully I hit my targets. I just put the new um, blackout scope on today from UltraView, and it should be like, should be fine um, hitting wise, but I might miss on my first one, I don't know. So what I'm gonna go over is like sitting and standing, or sitting I call it. Sitting to me in a tree saddle is when you put your knees up against it. So right now I'm like in the standing position. I have like back support on, I love back support. It's just, it's so comfortable. If you don't have one of these and you're complaining about comfort at all, you need 100% get this back support. So this is the standing position, pretty simple. I'm just on here. I don't think I need to explain about that too much. But the, the kneeling or the sitting position, you wanna let a little bit more rope out. And then you literally jam your knees into the tree just like this. And this is my favorite for shooting, is just knees like this. And typically what I'll do is I have like my gear strap right here. I'll actually like hang my backpack in front of me. And then normally I like take everything out of my backpack. I don't have a bunch of random stuff in there. So I have like an empty backpack. And then I'll use that as like my knee pad. So I don't have to like bring an additional knee pad, but I don't have that right now. I'm just gonna tough it out. So first thing I'm gonna talk about like the ideal shot, what you should like set up your saddle, I guess, for like the position and everything. And that's like this quadrant right here. I guess I'll call this quadrant one. It's pretty much like 90 degrees this way to the tree. And that for me is my sitting position. I can sit and I can shoot anywhere right here with very little effort, very little movement. You know, you can do that standing up also, but sitting down, you're just a little bit more stable. Your knees are up against here. Um, less movement, I guess, also. So we're just gonna show you how I shoot if it adheres in this quadrant right here. So it's pretty straightforward. And you shoot with the back support on, like I shoot with everything on. Um, so first, I guess this might be the first myth. And there's a lot of videos and people talking about this. But when they say, they, people in general, idea, draw at the horizon and then bend at the waist, you're not supposed to do that. People think that you draw at the horizon, get anchored, and then when you rotate down and bend at the waist, like everything's in line, but that's incorrect. That throws off your balance. You like don't act, like if I did that, I'd like fall forward and tip forward. So you don't necessarily want to do that. The only thing you need to focus on is make sure that your shoulders are in line with your target. And you're actually going to want to acquire and draw pretty much straight at your target. What you don't want is to draw and have your arm like straight down or have your shoulders super crooked and your bows like in front of you. And what people think by drawing at the horizon, it just corrects that, but it throws off your balance and everything. And now you're leaning way forward and you need like your core shaking and it's just crazy. 
So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up. You just kind of have to like shrug over. My knees are in the tree a little bit more. My feet are just over on the platform. And I'll still draw like normal. So if I'm, if I'm shooting at a flat target, you see me drawing, like lifting my bow up using leverage. So I'm still doing that, but I'm not like anchoring at full draw, if you know what I mean? Or anchoring on a horizon plane. So I'm gonna draw back and my shoulders are straight at the target. And I'm just gonna anchor just right on it. My shoulders are straight, everything's straight. <laughs> I did miss. <laughs> All right, let's bump that down. Right under it. I think so. That's just my sight. All right, let's get another arrow. So I know a lot of you are gonna be like, what the heck? But uh, that's actually a George Riles and other people talk about it, but George Riles for sure, talking about field archery. Field archery have tons of up and downs. You're not drawing like this and then pivoting all the way at your hips. So you're like, you just, it's impossible. Like some of these field shots are like this. So you really want to like make sure your shoulders are in line, acquire the target and just make sure everything's in line. That's the most important part. Not necessarily bending at the waist. So let's do that shot again. I got to get sighted in anyways. So knees are slightly over. I'm just super easy to draw back, draw back, shoulders in line, anchor. Oh, dude, I'm still way low. Dude, I chopped the deer's leg in half. That plastic is unforgiving. I apologize, folks. Welcome to the Chris V Show where he misses. All right, let's try again. My form was good, though. That's the only important thing. Getting sighted in on the fly. I love it. All right, shores align, anchor. There we go. Still low. That's a hard shot though. So yeah, that's this quadrant. I love it. Super easy shooting anywhere right here from the sitting position. So next quadrant is quadrant number two. This one is still fairly easy. Um, but you kind of have to only shoot from it from the standing position just because you have to rotate your hips just like this. You don't want to stay stagnant front and reach around behind you to shoot this target down in here. You want to actually rotate your hips. Then I like to like shift my feet pointed in this direction. Make sure you're nice and stable. It, you are fairly stable regardless, but you just want to like find that fine tune sweet spot. And I'm going to draw right at it shoot just like that so a little bit more challenging but still fairly easy and again you're not going to want to draw like this and then swing all the way down and be like that you just want to draw make sure your shoulders are in line make sure your anchor points correct because the biggest thing when people talk about drawing at the horizon or if you don't draw at the horizon let me just show a bad example i feel like i just got to show a bad example when people say like this and you're like super bad form and then people don't look through their peep sight, they don't anchor correctly. But if your shoulders are in line, you can fix that. So the root of the problem is you're just not aligning with your target and acquiring it. It's just like throwing a baseball, shooting a rifle, anything. You just gotta like acquire your target, make sure you're in line. So that's the biggest thing. All right, we're gonna shoot this guy right here straight pretty much straight behind slightly off the left shoulder so just drew straight at the target anchor it's good is that in the middle 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 low still all right so that one's pretty easy and that goes for pretty much straight behind you all the way to here is like standing position, kneeling position or standing position, either or here to there, super easy. And that even goes like if, I hate shooting down far like that, but if you have to, you have to. Okay, 
So these next two are, are definitely harder. What we've just done is very easy in your standard tree stand, easy sitting down shots. But now behind us, what we're gonna have to do is we're actually going to shorten our lineman's rope up just a little bit. And I'm just standing on my platform right now. And some guys like to put this above their shoulder, but I actually like to keep it underneath my shoulder. I literally just spin around on my platform and I'm just leaning on this tree right now. And so I've essentially just done a 360. It took two seconds. Um, it is a little bit harder with a bulkier clothes, but you just make your rope a little bit longer. The rope is on me right now. Like I feel it, it's snug. So you feel safe, you feel secure. My feet are just on the platform. And you do the same exact thing. It's, this is actually like a pretty easy shot now that you're right here. Draw back right at the target. Shoulders align, anchor. There we go, that was middle. So, the screws are loose. I just slid the scope on. <laughs> I didn't even tighten down the screws. Should do that. Anyways, super easy to do this. So now, this is the hardest shot, and this is the shot that is like famous for like a tree, tree saddle situation that you just like can't really get out of a tree stand. Or if I was in a tree stand right now, are the shots like behind me? It's just almost impossible to do that in a tree stand. So now, some branches in the way, hold on. Okay, so this target is straight behind me. So this is like the Hail Mary, don't want to do this shot, but if you have to, you can. Okay, my straps wrapped around me, my lineman, or my uh, tethered rope is right behind me. I feel tension, like I'm like sitting on it, I feel tension. And all I'm gonna do, can you see that target, Bryce? Just zoom to that target, like pan to it with the big one so you can just get an idea where it's at. Yeah, it's right there. So it's pretty tricky. Um, definitely don't want to like try to shoot a deer right here, but it, it is possible. You know, my optimum setting up a spot is like right here for shooting because you always try to be like the optimum spot for like trails or a food plot or whatever. So right here, I'm gonna have to a little bit. I'm gonna actually go more in front of me Swing around. I have a clear shot right now. Right in the dot. And that wasn't that bad. This tree is kind of gnarly. Like there's branch right here, branch coming up in there. Like it's not a smooth, small tree. That would have been a lot easier to do out of. So that's pretty much like a 360, to, you know, shooting. There, there there and there and so i'm gonna do like a trick shot now just just, just what i'm gonna try to shoot this target which is slightly to my right but shoot it from coming around on this side so i think that's possible and um you know some guys talk about how you can like swing around and shoot from wherever on this thing and you just have to be careful like if it's a close shot or you're shooting like traditional, like it might be a little different, but you still want to have good form, good steady, solid foundation. You don't wanna be like dangling with one foot trying to get a shot. Like this isn't what this is designed for. It's still solid. You can use it for proper form. And I mean, I shot a deer at 50 yards last year out of this thing and smoked it super stable and steady. So, um, all right, let's try to shoot this one. I'm not exactly sure gonna have to do so you can kind of like straddle this thing with your legs have to move these branches can you see that target Bryce 
So I'm just kind of like straddling this thing with my legs, but that branch is in the way. Hold on, I'm gonna have to finagle this in a second. And like in a hunting situation, you're not gonna have time to do all this. I'm just showing you if you practice this and then like, a, oh my gosh, the buck's walking away, away from me or standing there forever. You have the opportunity to do that shot. So drop down my rope a little bit so I can swing around this branch. And then I'm actually going to jam my left knee into the tree, keep my right foot on the platform. Mm, that's gonna be tight. I need a little bit more rope. So now I'm sitting pretty low. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do it. This is like, what, a 400 degree turn because I'm like all the way around compared to where it was. So I'm gonna draw back, shoulders straight, anchor. Right in the dot. Nice. That was tricky. <laughs> but I mean, that target's right there right now. So I had to go all the way around. But uh, yeah, think I should do anything else. So another good thing, like I've already talked about quadrant number one that I labeled earlier is like my favorite quadrant just cause it's right here. It's nice and easy. But also when you're setting up your spot, you have this cover from the tree. Compared to a tree stand, you're like facing away from it. So you're like facing the deer, you're exposed to the deer. With a saddle, you're like hiding behind this. So if like, let's say there's a field 50 yards away and there's a trail coming off of the field and like it's a morning spot, they're all funneling off of the field back into bedding and they're all gonna walk down this one trail. Well, I'd set up so that the trail was kind of blocked by this tree and I could be like poking around this tree watching. And then once they came out right here, I'd shoot them right in the middle of quadrant one. So it's just kind of nice. It's different that you can like use this tree in your advantage. Um, rather than a tree stand you'd, in that situation, you'd put on the other side and then you'd have, you know, the vulnerability of them seeing you. Um, so it's kind of nice, kind of like ninja. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching kind of this instructional video. I just felt like it was a very good topic for me to kind of talk about since I'm kind of new to saddle hunting. This is only like, this will be my second year. And um, I love it. I love it for situations that you either don't want to bring a tree stand in. It's a new piece. It's a public ground piece, um, you know, or if you just want to hunt out of them because they're super comfortable and uh, super versatile. So anyways, make sure to check them out if you're interested. Tethered, I'll link them down below. Um, super awesome guys, super awesome company. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out yourmerch.com. Catch you guys next time. Nice.